Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another exciting episode of Driving with the Gems. My name is Jim Meyer, broker associate with Remax Gold. Now you have a friend in the real estate business. I'm here with my good friend, Jim Felipe from the Felipe Law Firm. I've given him a lot of clients and none of them have gone to jail. And our good friend, Tom Linthicum, who sells real estate and, uh, and he does something crazy. He swims uh, from uh, San Francisco to Alcatraz. But even worse than that, he swims uh, Lake Tahoe, not from the the short, or, you know, not from one side to the other, but the length way, the long way. Uh, Tom, why do you do it? Well, it uh, gives me a lot of inspiration to swim long time, long periods of time in the in the water. I found um, swimming with my open water friends, I had a high tolerance for the cold. And um, sort of a toughness. I wasn't speedy. I'm not. I've never been really a speedy swimmer, but I could see I had an advantage in some of the endurance. And um, I've ran marathons, triathlons, and uh, there's something about it when you're out there a long time. It's a bit of a spiritual journey when you're in the water. It, and I it's hear the best way to connect. It. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's kind you of windy to here. Tap into but, a certain type of your part of your brain is that right yeah yeah you get in touch with your uh, reptile brain and uh, in fact i earned the nickname reptile brain at the south end rowing club uh, my friend jb sullivan an old timer at the club pulled me aside and told me all the tricks uh, of uh, using your reptile brain and it's um to me it's what you're talking about when you say reptile brain you're using your primitive brain to do something that's hard and just sort of stay inside your reptile brain and watch the control panel. It doesn't matter if your body's a little cold. doesn't matter if your body's a little fatigued. You just kick back and, and uh, enjoy the ride that's and you sort of detach from the pain. And the journey is glorious. When you, when you come up on that beach uh, after a long, after the link to Tahoe or, or my friend who's just did a double link to Tahoe, it's pretty glorious. And again, how many hours does it take to do Tahoe? Uh, well, the link to Tahoe for me took about 16 and a half hours the first time, 1733 the second time, and 1813 the third time. So I'm trying to get it right, you know, just keep doing it. <laughs> well, that one time you took your wrong turn at Albuquerque, of, but usually <laughs> you do it pretty fast, huh? Well, that's that's not um, necessarily that's not a speedy time. I actually took uh, Michael Rice across the lake a couple of years ago, and he swam at eight. Uh, eight yeah, was his time somewhere in that neighborhood, and he has the world record for the fastest length of Tahoe in history. All right, you're cutting it out compared to average is about twelve. I I think I heard you say what eight hours. Okay. Anyway, eight hours and 33 minutes was uh, fastest ever by Michael Rice. I, I'm not sure if I'm right to the to the minute, but it's a little about right in the neighborhood of 830. Wow. Okay, He's, well, we're uh, going to come back speedy, But the average is 13 to 14. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're, 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 we've got kind of a choppy uh, connection here. I guess that's because you're out in Lake Tahoe. Uh, Jim, are we going to have Tom again tomorrow? I think we should. There you go. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.